Here's a shot of a uh, blue spiderwort, and it's uh, in the genus Tradescantia, and the uh, the species is Ohiensis. And the family that it's in, I'm not familiar. I don't know anything else in it. It's uh, Camelinaceae family. And uh, again, I don't know anything about that family. I just looked it up just to make sure I put it on here in case you came to this video to do research and uh, just to verify the family name. So anyway, but this is a, these flowers are a little past their prime. There's, there's one over here that's real pretty. Uh, it's just opened up, but these things are really tough. Um, they enjoy full sun, uh, and uh, they are nice when you mix them in with everything else. Uh, this lady has uh, Monardia punctata there, the horse mint, and a sea oxide daisy, a mimosa strigulosa, and somewhere around here is some helianthus too. Uh, so they, it plays well with all these other things, and um, it just lends itself color-wise. It's it's a unique color for our natives. So. Anyway, once again, blue spiderwort, and it's Tradescantia ohiensis, and uh, worth having if you have some sunny space. Uh, that it's also drought tolerant, so you don't need to water it too heavily either. It's not uh, a xerophile, but you know, you can take a little bit of dry conditions.